Back in the fall, I made this wreath with a wire frame from the dollar store and corn husks. Today, I'm going to transform that wreath into one made from magnolia leaves and dried orange slices. Hi, I'm Cindy from Reinvented Delaware, and we like to reinvent and repurpose all sorts of home decor and furniture. And today, we're going to reinvent a fall wreath into a Christmas wreath. I went out to our yard and I clipped a couple of branches from our magnolia tree. Then I brought the branches inside and I pulled the leaves off. I wrapped the wire frame that I already had removed all of the corn husks from and I wrapped it with burlap ribbon. Burlap gives a nice surface to glue the leaves onto. I'm not worried about this wreath lasting from year to year. It's kind of fun to make a new wreath every year anyway. So I'm just running some hot glue across the burlap and I'm overlapping the leaves, working kind of backwards, you can see that. Now be careful because that glue gets really hot, you all know that. When I got to the spot where I began adding the leaves, I just tucked in the leaves underneath so that you couldn't tell where I started and where I ended. The wreath is beautiful as is. You could just add a beautiful ribbon and call it a day. I decided to add some orange slices. I'd already had them dried and in fact I even sprinkled them with dried cinnamon while they baked just to make the house smell really good. I added the orange slices on top of the leaves and just overlapped and tucked here and there. You can also see that I would lay the orange sli slice down on the leaf to see what areas of the orange slice would actually touch. The leaves and that's where I added the glue. I held it down for a second, let it cool off and I moved to the next. And again, this wreath could be finished at this point. Add a, a string to hang it and then call it a day. 
I wanted to add another layer. And if you'll notice, my magnolia leaves have a velvety brown surface on the back. And it's really so pretty. And I wanted to be able to add some more texture and layer and color to this wreath. So I glued in, tucked them here and there, so that the back side of the magnolia leaf would show. point again you could just add a ribbon and call it a day I wanted to go one more step I have these lovely cones that come after the bloom is finished on the magnolia tree it produces this like seed pod or I looked it up it's called a cone a magnolia cone if you know of another name please let me know in the comments below I would love to know but anyway I, gra I gathered them together in a little bouquet and then I just tied them up with a piece of twine to make a uh, like a like a focal point on the wreath. Once the cones were tied on securely, I wanted to cover up the stems that I could see. So I grabbed a few more leaves and I tucked them in here and there and over top of the stems just to cover them up. The cones have a little bit of a red color to them and I wanted to enhance that a little bit. So I used Dixie Belle's Gemstone Mousse in the color called Garnet and I just kind of dabbed a few, a, a few spots here and there and it gave those red areas a bit of a shimmer. The 
last step is to add a hanger. I cut a piece of jute twine in the length that I needed and then I cut a little section of the burlap in the back so that I could get to the wire frame. I looped it around, tied it in a knot, just long enough for the area where I wanted to hang the wreath. I've hung our wreath on the front door and it just looks so pretty and the chilly air is keeping it nice and fresh. It's really amazing how long this has lasted. You're looking at the wreath after about two and a half or three weeks of hanging on the wall and it's really holding up so well. I just love it. You'll notice some of the cinnamon is showing on some of those orange slices. Some of them I turned them around so that you couldn't see the cinnamon. That just adds another layer of texture and color to the wreath. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, could you like this video and even subscribe to our channel? I'd love to have you join us here. Thanks so much.